Hey, it's me again with my blog! Blog! Bloggy vlog! <laughs> uh, back to work today after my week off and uh, it was not good. It was most unenjoyable. I was knackered. Absolutely knackered. Tired all day and I've got to go back tomorrow for more. Got Wednesday off though, but then I'm back Thursday, Friday and half day Saturday. But I signed my thing at work today where I say, I don't wish to be employed by you anymore. Give me the money you promised me so I can go off and do other things. So I've signed that. So I've got to find out the date now, but probably in the middle of November. <laughs> Job finished. Unemployed. Unemployed after 28 years working in the same place. Unemployed looking for a new job. <sighs> Unless you could all watch my videos a million times and get me some lovely, lovely ad revenue, which is kind of the idea of this channel, which is why it's said underneath Project Make a Million Pounds on the Internet. It's not working so far. Um, f oh, I checked it today. I think it was $4.81 after 225 days. I think today is my 225th day. So how does that work out? More than, more than a cent a day. More than two cents a day, isn't it? So near two cents a day... Hmm, I just need to up that growth a little bit. If I could make like $2 a day, that would be a fine start, wouldn't it? But, yeah, not quite doing that at the moment. Nowhere near that, to be in fact. So I worked out, if I get on day two, if, they, if I've got $5 on day 250, that means it would take me 500 days, on that, on that rate, it would take me 500 days to get $10. So that would be, and then 10 times that, 5,000 days? 5,000 days to get $100 and I finally get a payout. So 5,000 days is how many years? There's 300 and odd in the... Is that right? Yeah, he's right, isn't it? That's a lot of days. It's years. I don't think I'm going to make... I don't think I'm going to be able to live off my internet. <laughs> Not at this rate, anyway. But, you know, one day people will discover me and go, Oh, listen to these guys' uh, blogs, man. They're really cool. He's like, he talks rubbish, but, like, he's quite entertaining. And he's got such a handsome face. And he's got a magnificent beard. And his voice is very theatrical. And he sounds really good and posh in English. <laughs> yeah. If I could find some crazy American people who want to listen to me for my, for my wonderful English accent... <laughs> Apparently, no, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, so, anyway, today I was offered to go and see Coven. I was offered a free ticket to go and see Coven at the, the Dome, and I couldn't be bothered. I'm like, pff, can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. I'm too tired from work. I actually said, no, I'm just going to go home and lollop on my bed like a toad. And that's what I've done. I've been lolloping on my bed like a toad. And watching some films. I've just watched Mind Horn, which was pretty cool. I quite enjoyed that. It had some very, very fun moments. Ah, uh, I can't get it quite centred. I don't know, I covered it up. Mind horn! It was pretty good. And I saw XXX, or Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage. There he is. There was he, he returned. That was OTT rubbish, to be honest. It was like, it was so over the top, so cliche, so... It was just like, this is a bit... <laughs> I suppose you had good, some good action in it, but just like such cheesy lines, and you could, oh, and so, yeah, anyway, yeah, anyway, but yeah, it was, um, put it this way, <laughs> yeah, if you can disengage your mind for five minutes, it was alright, and I've got this one to watch now before I go to bed. Kong! Skull Island! Kong! Kong, 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 Kong. Is that the fourth time they've made Kong? It is, isn't it? There was King Kong, the original one. Then there was one in about the 70s time that I saw. 70s, maybe 80s. And then there was a recent one where um, Jack Black was in it, I think. Uh, I can't remember who else, but that, was, that wasn't that long ago, was it? Was that, how long ago was that now? It must have been ages. I think I made another one already. Kong, Skull, I oh, run out of ideas, didn't they? They should make... Vloggy Bloggy the Movie, starring Graham Fraser as a man sitting in his room talking to his laptop and hoping people will watch it millions of times so he earns some ad revenue. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? Bloggy Vlog the Movie, starring me. Oh yeah. Write to Hollywood, write to your producers, write to directors and say, Dear sir, I think you should make a Vloggy Blog Blog the Movie, starring Graham Fraser. It will be absolutely amazing. And that kind of thing. 
that's what you should do. But um, just so I can prove to you how amazing it is, I will carry on with the usual things that I do on my vloggy, vloggy, blog, vloggy, vlog, 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 which is, first of all, some history. History on this day. On the 11th of September, in the year 1944, the invasion of Germany from the west begins as Allied troops cross the Luxembourg-German border. Ah. And in 1997, on this day in history, voters in Scotland approved the creation of a Scottish Parliament in a national referendum. Okay. And in 2001, most people will remember this, attacks by Islamic terrorists on New York's World Trade Center and Washington killed 2,973 people. Yes, that was a rather dark day. I remember that. I was at work when it happened and uh, it got rather quiet. Uh, I think everyone was in, staying indoors watching the news and we had the radio on and we heard it happening. And it was like, whoa, it just didn't seem real. Yeah, but I suppose a lot of people say that, don't they? No, nasty, nasty, nasty. Right, let's just do the next thing. The next thing on the show, I have call it a show, it's not really a show, it's just a bloggy, 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 blog, blog. I've got to call it a show to suggest that it's entertaining in some way. But um, we have poetry. I choose a random poem on this site called poetryoutloud.org and I read it to you. Not necessarily very well because most of the time it's the first time I've read it. So a poorly read poem by me. Not by me, me poorly reading. This one's by Robert Bly. Some kind of guy called Robert Bly, who was born in 1926, um, is taken from the Poetry Anthology, 1912 to 2002. Hmm. But if he was born in 1926, then it's not him. I don't know. It's, that's where the source comes from. I don't know where it's from. Maybe it's just one in a poem of lots of other poets, this Poetry Anthology. I don't blink that. blinking no. But anyway, Robert Bly, po Prayer for My Father, this is called. Your head is steel, restless, rolling, east and west. That body in you insisting on living is the old hawk for whom the world darkens. If I am not with you when you die, that is just. It is all right that part of you cleaned my bones more than once, but I will meet you in the young hawk whom I see inside both you and me. He will guide you to the Lord of Night, who will give you the tenderness you wanted here. Okay, that was a poem by Robert Bly. Robert, some guy called Robert Bly. Uh, yeah, I used to do a film where I'd made up my own poems. I did actually say I was going to start writing a poem every day and reciting it to people. But I'm too lazy for that kind of thing. I barely get time to do this half the time. But when I get made redundant in November, I'm going to dedicate... I'm going to start sort of working full time trying to do this. Not just these blogs, but I'm going to start doing all of the other things and silly videos that I make. And maybe if I just make enough videos, something will catch on and people will go, oh, I really enjoyed that. And it'll get lots of views. And I go, all right, I'll make more like this then if I can. So let's just go give that a try. Check out my video about I did the other day. I did, a, I did a Cthulhu video, one I made a long time ago, but I've kind of spriced it up a bit and uh, spruced it up and spiced it up. It's called spriced. Spriced is a mixture of spruced and spiced, okay? Spriced. I've spriced it up and it's awesomely good. It's, well, it's quite good anyway. It's got me singing in it. But with like some, you know, uh, hello, I'm Cthulhu, I live beneath the sea. Why not come and visit me in my sunken city, Ali? <laughs> and stuff like that. It's It's good. It is extremely entertaining, and it's got some animation done by me, little pictures drawn by my own hand, and intricately moved frame by frame, and put together in a timeline, so it comes out, and it comes out, hello, I'm Cthulhu, and it has a little dance and everything, and it's got Necronomicon bound in human skin, and it eats a fish. <laughs> it's really cool, watch it please, share it with all your friends, share this with all your friends. You know, uh, watch it a million times so I can get some lovely ad revenue and now I have to find another job once this one goes. Yeah, I can dream on. I am dreaming. I am dreaming. Oh, I dream of a better world. Oh, I don't have to work hard. Well, no, I have to work hard doing this. But I do. I enjoy doing this. If I could, when I fucking do this, like being creative and, you know... And have people like it? It'd be nice. But yeah, that's the thing. No one likes it. <laughs> not even me. <laughs> I don't like it. It's rubbish. No, not really. It's excellent. I just get a bit manic sometimes. A bit manic. Anyway, I am going now. I will be back tomorrow for the next episode of my bloggy, 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 blog, 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 bl